I'm Sarah Peterson and welcome to the Sun Focus Today. Through the month of December, the fantastic Sam's Hair Salon in Fridley offered discounted services in exchange for food donations. Southern Anoka County Assistance, or SACA, saw the results yesterday afternoon. More than 20 bags of groceries were dropped off. The donation weighed in at more than 250 pounds. By mid-December, the donation box was overflowing and items were being stacked along the window ledges according to salon owner Eric Swanstrom. He said that salon employees had approached him with a desire to make a difference during the holiday season, and together they developed this promotion idea. SACA is a non-profit food shelf community assistance program located in Columbia Heights. It has programs featuring emergency food, clothing, household needs, toys, and school supplies distribution. More than 100 area residents who are interested in DFL politics gathered in Fridley yesterday night to hear positions from five other Minnesotans who are seeking the party's nomination this year in the race to succeed Governor Tim Pawlenty, a Republican who is in the final year of his second term. Candidates at the forum included State Senator John Marty of Roseville, <laughs> former State Senator Steve Kelly of Hopkins, State Representative Paul Thiessen of Minneapolis. State Representative and Speaker of the House Margaret Anderson Kelleher of Minneapolis. And Ramsey County Attorney Susan Garrett. State Senator Tom Bach of Cook, Minnesota was previously announced as planning to participate, but road closures due to poor weather in southwestern Minnesota kept Senator Bach stranded in that corner of the state. Welcoming the DFL candidates to the Forum in Fridley was the joint effort of the party's central committees from Senate Districts 50 and 51. Combined, those districts include all of Fridley, Columbia Heights, Hilltop, Moundsview, New Brighton, and Spring Lake Park, and most of Blaine and part of St. Anthony Village. Valerie Rolstad, a resident of Fridley and associate chair of the party Senate District 50 Central Committee, spoke of why these local party activists were excited to host this event. Well, I believe that uh, in Minnesota we've always had the uh, thing of, you know, home, family, and, you know, being able to talk to um, people. And our candidates are, are right up there, and this is an opportunity for our community members to come out and have a more intimate uh, conversation with our candidates, uh, be able to hear them and ask them directly their questions and concerns and their issues, and make it a more personal um, opportunity for them uh, to um, get their answers um, to the questions, because this is, you know, in the 2010, it's going to be a tough tough year and we need to uh, move our candidates in the right direction and having that personal touch with them is what Minnesota is about, um, having that personal touch. Political parties including the DFL and Republican parties will hold caucuses Tuesday night February 2nd where participants will vote for their preferred candidates in a straw poll. There will be two expos this weekend in New Brighton. New Brighton's Family Service Center will have their 5th Annual Health and Fitness Expo on Saturday. The expo will run from 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. and will feature free samples, free group fitness class trials, and vendors with wellness activities. Call for more information. On Sunday, the Tri-City American Legion will host the MSB Music Expo from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. The expo will feature records, CDs, and music memorabilia from the 1950s to today. Admission is $3 per person or $2 per person with a donation of two cans of non-perishable food for the food shelf. Call, email, or check online for more information. For more about these and other stories from the Sun Focus, visit our website at www.mnsun.com. For the Sun Focus today, I'm Sarah Peterson. Have a nice weekend and we'll see you on Monday.